today there's a million points of view coming from all over the place with our connectivity and to be able to distill that information into a viable trend service that sits down and says, hey, here's what I think is, is, is or the consumer is, is listening to and the consumer is responding to because, you know, at the same time that you're seeing this compression of the world, right, and the ability to see everything happening in real time everywhere, we've also moved to a consumer-driven economy. You know, that has got to be an interesting wrinkle about a fashion forecasting service because, you know, it used to be designers would tell people what to wear. That's right. right? And today, the most um, successful designers are those that are the medium and the channel for the consumer. That's right. Well, it, it's changed quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, I mentioned Mrs. Dean at the Toby Report. She was mm -hmm. one of my early mentors. And I remember her saying that Mr. Neiman and um, I can't think of everybody mm -hmm. of the olden days, but Nordstrom and sure. Macy's and everybody would sit down, Saks and Bergdorf's, and decide what the length would be. Mm -hmm. And that was a big All together thing. they would sit down? Yes, they would okay, sit down and make a decision about what's the length. And um, of, of course, it's not that way now. Yeah, right. Any length is good. It's what they all sit down good. and don't decide what the don't length decide. is. Don't yeah, decide. Right. So it's very different. And that's yeah. where the storytelling really becomes very yeah. important because... It's a narrative. You're telling a story when you get dressed. You're not mm -hmm. saying, I'm wearing a skirt at this season's length. Right. You're saying, this is me, and these are my values, and these are my people. And you're somehow conveying that mm -hmm. with the cut of your jeans and the fabric right. of your jacket. You're part of a tribe. And I think, well, yeah. but that's the thing. Yeah. Mint Moda is actually looking at the consumer and the groups you've yeah we you've do tribes them. you've done these tribes kind of view and that's the amazing part it seems so visionary that as we move to this consumer driven economy you have looked outward to identify the tribes who are influencing fashion as we as we know it today well I think even the most avant garde designers like I have. I always say all roads lead to Ray, meaning Ray Kawakubo. And I, it's funny, I Googled that expression one day and I saw, oh, somebody said it. And I looked it, it up you. and it was, it was me. Because <laughs> <laughs> the quote came up. You, you are know, an oracle. You actually so, found yourself way back then <laughs> saying it today. <laughs> I look at Ray Kawakubo, black on different colors of black. That was a no-no. Yeah. Raw edges we're still exploring in fashion. The same with Martin Margiela. The most avant-garde designers are ones that I always include in my forecast because the seeds of what mm -hmm. people will want mm -hmm. are in there. Mm -hmm. So it's not wild and crazy stuff. It's a um, an early mm -hmm. Spark a premonition, if you will. Yes, yeah. Yeah. and the ideas, like I always say, we're not putting it out there because um, Prada, Mutual Prada, did it. We're trying to get at what Prada was thinking about. Yeah. So that's how, kind of, how we do the surround. It's really getting inside the intention behind it. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah. Um, really, you know, were a trailblazer looking at runway to inform trends. Um, what is your process now? I still look at runway, but I look at people a lot. I could just run across the street to buy a bottle of water, and I see something that inspires me. I love real people. Mm -hmm watching people. Of course, now we have Instagram, so it's like the whole world is there in the little two-inch square on yeah, your phone. Right. People inspire me. History, costumes in, in movies, movies in general, film is a tremendous inspiration, both past and present. I watch um, what the thrift shops have, what the vintage show, what's, what's drawing people's attention. At the, 
at the last Metropolitan Vintage show. That's a clue. All of these things are clues. Mm -hmm. And then it's almost like I see the clues all around me and then I find them on the runway. So it's almost the opposite. Uh, oh, how interesting. 